Well, hey guys, it's me, the incredible Mr. Watson, and you are sitting in my new car uh, that I'm about to give you a tour of. Um, this is not sponsored by any of the brands or places mentioned in this video. I just filmed this video once, and then I got a phone call, and it cut it off. <sighs> hey, so without further ado, everybody, please say hello to my new 2002 Toyota Avalon XL. Her name is Yvonne the Avalon. Um, it is the fourth car I've owned, like I mentioned the last time I filmed this video, which y'all would know nothing about because it got deleted after that. Um, so anyway, um, it is a 2002 Toyota Avalon and She's got a check engine light on, but I went over to my friends at AutoZone here and they said that nothing was majorly mechanically wrong with it, that it was just basically an O2 sensor and that Toyota loved to get money from O2 sensors. And so it'll need to be fixed before I can get the car reinspected, but it's been inspected and it's good for this year. So anyway. She is a nice little 2002 Avalon XL. It is the second Toyota I've owned, the fourth car I've owned. My first car was named Lindsay, and uh, it was a 1999 Toyota Camry. Um, I loved my Camry. The only problem with that car was it was it started to go a little bit mechanically, and it worried me because when I first had the car, I didn't even have a license yet. But when I did drive it, it give, did give me some mechanical issues when I drove it with my uh, permit and it scared me. I was like, I don't want to be out alone one day and it just stall out in the middle of an intersection. So I sold that car, put it down at the end of the road. I don't remember how much we sold it for, but we sold it. And uh, then I got a 2003 Ford Escape. I loved my Escape. Uh, it was Kelly Green. Its name was Kelly um, because I'm original with naming. Just like I have a Jack Russell Terrier at home named Jack. I had a German Shepherd named Shep. Um, I had a brown dog once. I don't remember what breed he was, but his name was Brownie. Um, I have a cat that looks like a tiger and her name is Tiger. Anyway, this is Yvonne the Avalon, and again, original with naming, uh, it rhymed, so I went with it. Um, but after the Ford, it gave me some mechanical issues, so I sold that thing again and got a 2001 Buick Regal. That car was a pretty decent little car. It did look like an old lady car, but uh, it, was, it was basically a boat. Uh, I didn't enjoy driving a boat, but you know what? It was a car and it got me from A to B and I'm thankful for what it what it did, the transportation that, bleh, bleh, <laughs> I can't speak English today, uh, sorry. But the transportation that it was to me and how it helped me and get to where I am now. And now I have a 2002 Toyota Avalon. Oh, by the way, the Buick's name was Delphi, D-E-P-H. Yeah, D-E-L-P-H-I, Delphi. I don't know where I came up with that name. That was actually an original name. Um, but yeah, Delphi. So without further ado, Yvonne, the Avalon, and XL. I'm thinking it stands for extra luxurious or extra, like me, extra, and then luxurious. I don't know, extra leather, because I've got tan leather seats, yes. Yes, yes. The only thing about leather seats is they get super hot e easy. And as I mentioned the last time I wear this video, I'm one to talk because here I am wearing long sleeves and black jeans. 
and what 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 was it that I said I think it's 79 degrees outside yep 79 degrees as you might can see by the temperature gauge right here I don't think you can see that on camera maybe you can I don't know um so it's got cruise control not any other really major buttons on the steering wheel but it's fine I like it it's clean it's nice uh, the radio is really nice. It's got a really good sound, which I will show you in a moment. Let me close the door because, like I said, it's 79 degrees outside. Um, the air gets nice and cold. Actually, when I test drive the car, um, my, let's see, I guess it would be, I guess it would be my uncle uh, said that I had it snowing in here because I had the air all the way up. Um, and it does get pretty cold in here. That's the air on full blast. Let me cool down for a second and then I'll turn that down so I can continue vlogging. All right, anyway, so I have, like I said, a sunroof as you may see. And I love to open my sunroof because I can just one touch and whoa. And now you're out above the car, so yeah. That's, that's different. <laughs> that's not a good vlogging angle though. Um, anyway, I'm wearing sunglasses just cause it's so bright outside. Um, but uh, yeah, and then also, I can one touch close it too and it just <laughs> Oh, simple minds, simple pleasures. I am amused by like the slightest things you guys like. I mean, just that alone amuses me with all get out um i have a rear view mirror but in the corner of the rear view mirror again i don't know if y'all can see this on camera because sun glare and everything but i have a little compass up here i'm parked in the south with what southwest corner of the parking lot i can't speak english today once again um my bad um a whole leather back seat it and when I bought the car, the back seat had not even been creased because it looked like nobody had been sitting back there at all. Plus, this thing folds out and it's an armrest. But then, oh, and I can also lock that and that can go into the trunk, but I can't reach that right now, so I'm not going to show you that right yet. But then you can open this and there's storage. And then you open the storage and there's cup holders and ba bam you got cup holders in the back seat. Oh, but you want that armrest back, don't you? Ta-da! You got armrest with cup holders. Isn't that special? Anyway, um, I don't sit in the back seat, so I don't use that. But, yeah. It's nice to have to treat your passengers and be like, treat yourself to an armrest with cup holders. Um, <laughs> anyway, um... The front detailing of the car, like on the dash panel, I'm, I'm gonna be jumping back and forth a lot, so um, if you don't like all that, well then you should have clicked off 15 minutes ago. Um, well, it hasn't been 15 minutes, it's only been eight minutes. Surprise, this is gonna be a rather short video. Um, right up here, it's kind of like a, you can't, I don't know that you can tell on video, but it's kind of like a hard plastic, and I was like, is there a backup camera or some sort of entertainment system over here? And I got to looking and no, it's just, it's just a regular everyday piece of plastic and it made to look like a screen like the instrument panel or like the, the gauges over here. It's just like this, but it's shipped over there. It's blank and it says Avalon on it. Ha. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, now for some more of the high-tech features um in this 2002 vehicle this is kind of an awkward camera angle i do apologize um but i do have a pretty good stereo with a good sound system I, this is ct townsend and i do not own any of the rights to any of this music by the way just thought i'd let you know and that's all in the front. Um, I have 
that's uh, meaning that's all the all the sound is in the front. I uh, I faded the sound to the front because my back speaker actually kind of rattles with the bass when it hits, and so it it annoys me. So I just I faded it all to the front because I'm the only one in the car anyway. Also, I you might be wondering what this thing is. This for you kids out there who don't know. This is a I don't know if this is a, yeah, this is a cassette tape. And see, in this car, being that it's a 2002, cassettes were still a big thing. I don't listen to cassettes, but this nifty cassette adapter, not sponsored by this brand or anything, but you put the cassette in, and it has a little wire going out, and it goes to an, hold on. It goes to an auxiliary jack but then I have to take that auxiliary jack and put that into a converter for the iPhone because I have an iPhone and they took away the headphone jack. Don't even get me started on that. Um, hold on one second while I reconnect my wiring over here. I think I just broke my cassette adapter. Yep, I think I did. I see wire, that's not safe. Oh well. It was like a dollar at the dollar store, so I really don't care. I will buy a new one. Or they sell them at Walmart too, but they're a little bit more expensive. But I mean, for a cassette, what do you expect? A cassette adapter, I mean, it's really cool technology. Uh, you can hear audio through it. Um, I, I normally put my call audio through it. I don't have a lot of songs on my phone because I did switch from Android to Apple recently. And I had songs that I had downloaded like off of the computer and then put onto my phone through Bluetooth, Sync and all that stuff. Uh, but I lost all of those on the transfer. I did go and buy C.T. Townsend's two current newest albums on there, and I have that on there, and I think I have a song by Sean Mendes, or maybe two songs, I'm not sure. Anyway, but I, I don't listen to that, because, I mean, I've got CDs. I listen to CD and mostly the radio, um, so I don't really need to worry about listening to music through it. I mainly just use it for call audio um, or video audio if I'm sitting in a parking lot watching videos, filming videos. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> that is about all there is to show you except for this one thing. This is really cool and this is kind of odd, um, but I have a regular, just a plain Jane, um, sun visor right that has an extender on the end over here a plastic little doodad thing that just slides but I also have another sun visor so I can pull this out to the side and put that down so I can block the haters on both sides and this one does the same thing but off opposite so I can block haters on all points of view ha <laughs> ha anyway um I don't use sun visors anyway unless I'm parked because I'm so tall that it really doesn't make sense for me. It basically just cuts off all visibility to the outside world while I'm in the car, which we all know that that's not safe while driving. So yeah, I don't use sun visors. I wish I could. I just have to wear my hater blockers. Um, that being said, I think this is the end of this video. Uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed seeing my new car. God has blessed me truly with this vehicle. Um, yeah, I just... It's awesome. I know it's not brand new, but it's new to me. And it's been the one of... It's just been a small part of one of the many blessings that God has bestowed upon me that he bestows upon me each day and to him I am forever grateful um, I thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video and you'd like to click that button down below and like it you thought I was gonna say subscribe but I didn't also if you like this video and you want to see more like it click that button down below subscribe and you too can become incredible just like me also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash the incredible Mr. Watson, or I'm also now on Instagram 
can't figure out how to share my Instagram link yet. Um, once I do, I will put it in the description below of my videos from then on. But until then, it is the, or no, it's Mr. Underscore Watson on YouTube. Um, go follow me on Instagram. I just posted today about this video. Um, go give that page some love. My personal page is personal, so, you know, private life. Anyway, um, but we do have an, or I do have an Instagram page now for my YouTube channel, and I would appreciate it if you guys would go over there and give that a follow. Also, stay tuned, my, that Android phone that I ordered from Wish is still on the way. Um, it said something about May 27th. I don't know if I'm ever going to get it or not, or whatever. It was free, so I can't really complain either way. But, uh, Wish, if you're watching this, and you have any way in your power to boot that phone to me, please send it my way. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out!